channel. If you're new, please subscribe, press thumbs up. Thank you to everyone who's been sending donations. Please keep them flowing. It makes me feel beautiful when you send me gifts. So I'm here again in the space for a few nights where we did all of the journeys beyond the veil with the runes. And now I have the musical alchemy of astrology deck here. As I sat down, a big orb went by as well before I pressed record. Um, let's just go in. Let's just see what's coming through. What messages have you for us all today? There's this really strong energy as I'm shuffling of things coming and going, coming and going, almost like you've got to grab at things. Interesting. offers, opportunities, and then they just go back in and they'll wait. They'll wait for you to grab them. So, hmm. So we have three cards. How oh, whether I'm holding them up the right way. So Moon, Pluto, and then Moon in Taurus. I'm immediately getting that sense that there's something in the realm of Pluto or Hades. that is below the surface of the earth that needs you to be in a new emotional landscape is what I keep coming down to in order for you to seek some kind of very earthed comfort bringing these energies inside the space of the earth So we've got F sharp and A here. F sharp of Venus, ruler of Taurus, A for the moon, A for the moon. So there's a double A here. So that's third eye energy. And then we have the spine. It's a kind of F sharp minor chord. Wiring your intuition through the spine into your heart, but as it goes into the heart, it's going into the earth. You're earthing loving intuition, I guess what I want to say. So this is not about dealing with your nervous system, because that would be F sharp major. This really is about wiring in a new intuitive sense of love into the earth.
So I have four more cards, they're all face down. Gonna leave them for the moment. Go to the Lafruma Healing Oracle deck, which if you want your own copy, you can get on lafruma.com. I'm not gonna take that card because I was talking. So, Lafruma, Pink Alien, The Great Attractor. What do you want to add to this message? Ah, oh, so interesting. Leche and Raza, Raza. Alchemize and explore. Explore pain. Explore the space you create by releasing pain. Alchemize something into your heart that there wasn't room for previously. Ceramics may fly down yellow. Hello, Daniela. So here we have 34, which is calc. So again, the energy of anchoring in a new landscape of love. And then we have raid. Go on a journey in the real world. Oh, mm, and it's going off for real here. And then we have man, which is 20. There's something here, uh, if I take the two stalks off, this is Dej, Purge. Anchor the purge, you've purged. Now anchor it into the real world, through your heart. And then we have 12, which is your needs. But the card, the poem on the rune deck card talks about arcing your etheric love. This is, love is the locksmith to all locks. The answer to all blockages. That's what you're trying, we're trying to anchor in. Hey, and there is the purge. So there's something here about, by anchoring in the purge, you purge on a higher frequency, on an esoteric frequency. So let's see what we have here. Oh, there's five. I just need to work out which order. <laughs> Whether they go from there to there or there to there. Just give me a moment. Well, you have to give me a moment. You have no choice in that. So conjunction, merged focus intentions, Characlo. And that is the nervous system, but it's putting new boundaries on your nervous system. The gentle enforcer of boundaries. Qua. The kits singer of creation. The cosmic shaman, the galactic singer of existence. Moon in Cancer, new intuition around an emotional language. Cardinal emotions. And vitriol into the center of the earth, into the true inner stone. What is this inner earth void? It's the space between ourselves, in ourselves, because our physical body, all of our cells, belong to the earth. And so by wiring this language into your heart, we are wiring it into the physical world. So let me just move those rune stones up there. Zero degree aspect coming into tempo. This is a new tempo that's being created 
by this new loving landscape that's filling the space of pain that you've cleared and alchemizing a new musical collaboration with what? With you, with yourself, with yourselves, with your spirit, with your divine aspects. It's a new collaboration within you, within your heart. And then we have A sharp, B flat, a nervous system. And then we have A, which is intuition. Aries and Capricorn, this is very cardinal energy. And then we have water, so we're only here missing air. And air is the edit suite. It's like you're done editing. You don't need to think about this. Act upon it. Exist, move, walk, play in the real world, in your new emotional landscape. So we've now got So from a kind of minor frequency of F sharp, minor, to F sharp major. Retuning just and it's like a there's a note here, A to A sharp. conjunction energy that's the scalpel that's in there and you're opening space between intuition and the nervous system and wiring it into the spine to bring it into the heart so in sound healing the spine's outside your body and it resonates and all other energies come through the spine and through the nervous system to enter into the physical body to influence our auric resplendency. So let me just have a little look. At the numerology. I, this energy has before sound, before sound, before you were birthed, there was, before you were birthed, there was only intention. And even your parents who created you didn't have necessarily this intention of your birth. In some cases, yeah, it was a planned thing, but it's, what I mean that there was no intention was there was no intention of what you would be when you eventually birth yourself. So you absorb your pain and you birth yourself with your new Characlo boundaries, gently enforced. The law of shamanic health. The law of shamanic health See, I want to say rule number one is you are the shaman. But you have to find your intuitive way to wire that energy into your being. So let's get some, uh, no, let's just, I want to look at the I am values. I am distinct or shadowy. And that's the first part of the journey, to be shadowy before you understand how distinct you are. Following the flock. I am buried, I am returned. And I am valueless or I am worthy. So, distinct, returned and worthy just started to rain and then here when you're birthing yourself I am detached or I am mutual 
And that's a fascinating thing because which would you see as the positive or the negative? It's a polarity. You have to be all those things. Down to you to decide how you look at it. I'm stressed, I am soothed. Who soothes you? You soothe you. I am silent. I am singing. There's something about the visible silence before you sing. So thinking, don't overthink. Do whatever you want. Um, it's that silence before you begin the new song. Like the first cry when you're born, but this is the first cry after your redeath and birth. And then orchestra and residence, we have, I am starved, I am nourished. Starved within the stagnant labyrinth. Nourished when you birthed yourself. And I am lost, I am found. Who finds you? You find you. Get some ceramic. This is going to be a short one because I really have this strong desire to go out and play. I don't know in what way. I'll see who's in the playground. So Kanafa, the old blood songs that sing one last time before you mm, put them to bed, shut them off, transform, before you make space. So I'm hearing emotionally bleed out, Björk. So you take out this old tune, this old key. And then from deep within the roots, underneath the earth, in the Plutonian frequency of Hades, the underworld, you begin again. Same root system, because that still exists, you experienced it, but your trunk grows anew in a new space. The poplar tree, after the fire, sends up a new shoot. And then here, candle. That's the new shoot lighting up. Two locks to one door. You have to shut the door and lock it. No, they're saying you have to unlock the door to go through it, shut the door and lock it shut. You have to decide when you have explored enough pain to begin again. A little bit of poetry. So let's just end with a couple of little rumours. I want to say that as I sang that and held it, there was a sense of not knowing where this is going. That is your now moment. You don't know where it's going. Just enjoy it. Stop trying to control it. Just have intentions and see how it unfolds. So it looks like we've got one only. It's Gifu. So this is gift, generosity. It's the important part is generosity shines bright and fair, but stay aware for every gift to emerge, its reverse was birthed. That's what you got rid of. That's the space you created for this new alignment, for new gifts to flow into your now moment. So that seems to be it. I'm just going to look at the bottom of this deck. Fire. This is a new realm in the physical space, but it's burning with passion, becoming impassioned. It's impulsive, it's spontaneous. That's where you need to be going. <laughs> and that is your, your, that is your world serpent destiny. 
a whole new you in a new physical realm. It's there to be taken, but you have to decide to unlock, go through the door, shut the door on all that shit, and lock the door, and then turn around again and move into your now. Beautiful. So that's today's message. What's well, say, oh, beautiful people?